be right last time when I've done Chica. It was all wee and it was like this for some reason. I don't know. Right, this time we're doing. Um, I guess. All of the puppets and balloons. I mean, 116 to 133. Could do the endos as well. That is a lot. Um, we'll see. Right, the puppet. Is it stirring you along? The puppet is a marionette, which is a puppet operated by strings. In fact, it's sometimes known as the marionette. It's a spindly thing with a mask-like face and a narrow body, very different from the animatronics that operate around the pizzeria. Instead, it's one of it's one of the items in the prize corner at the relaunch Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And it attacks if the music box is not wound up. The puppet is... Oh wait. The puppet is a very tricky thing to deal with. If it attack... If, if its attack begins, even if you prevent a jump scare at that point, it will be head... It will head towards the office and can't be seen on the cameras. Winding up the music box won't help you now. You just have to make it through to 6am. Slim, isn't it? You might also say slender. In touch with your inner child. In the Happiest Day minigame, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, you actually get to play as the puppet. Which happens again in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Some clues about what the puppet really is can be found in these mini games. So, who, so who's playing the strings? Phantom puppet. Here's your prize. Sorry, it's a little burnt. Meet another of the phantom characters from five from FNAF three, the puppet. The Phantom Phantom Puppet. I, I always thought it was Phantom Marionette or Phantom Puppet. Yeah, Phantom Puppet. It's meet meet the m meet another of the Phantom characters from FNAF Three, the Phantom Puppet. It's similar to the others in as much as it can't harm you with its jump scare, but it can create a distraction. It looks burnt, and the top of its head looks decayed too. In your face, the sign that the phantom puppet is about to appear can be seen on cam 08, but it takes the form of an apparition of the normal puppet. This only happens rarely, but when it does, the phantom puppet will appear in the office right in your face, blocking your view. Shadow puppet. Cheer up, it might never happen. Who the hell is shadow? FNAF? FNAF? Wait, what? Another puppet variant to be found in FNAF 3, the Shadow Puppet, only appears in the Mangle Quest minigame. Oh, okay. This game is in a retro 8-bit style and the Shadow Puppet matches this style. It weeps grey tears with cascade down on the down which cascade down to the floor, taking a fall. In this game, you might take control of Mangle and the Shadow Puppet only appears if you use the invisible exit in the top right of the inner room. Mangle, th Mangle then falls and, and encounters the Shadow Puppet. This only works if you've already obtained the third ending in BB's Air Adventure. Night Marionette, have you lost weight? You look terrifying. Night Marion, Night, so oh Night Marion, Night Marion is the FNAF 4 version of the puppet released in the Halloween update. It has a skeletal look with longer fingers and sharp teeth, but at least it has only one set of teeth, unlike other animatronics. New nightmares, Night Marion replaces FNAF Nightmare in FNAF 4 
so it plays the same role, only appearing in the nightmare phase of the game. It also appears in Ultimate Cluster Knight. If your cursor stays on it too long, it will randomly move around your office in an attempt to end your run. Security puppet. Security puppet. Definitely gives a false sense of security. Oi. The version of the puppet is styled like a jack in the box. But it has a similar design to the original puppet, but with the bells attached to its head and a gift-like box for it to spring from. In Ultimate Custom Night, it appears in the sister location office back down. Background. Secure the area. The security puppet is an expensive item in FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. But buying it unlocks a mini game in which you have to, f in which you have to find a child, and keep them away from the exit. You need to play this mini game three times to unlock an ending that ties in with the puppet backstory. There's a lot more endoskeletons than I thought. Holy crap. We might have we might hmm. We'll see, we might go all the way to glitch trap this one. And then after glitch trap it's <sighs> Oh by the way, yeah, oh wait, yeah, I said about how um for some reason one of um the cheeker one was mixed up. Sorry about that. Anyway, balloon boy. Animatronic humanoid. Everyone loves balloons, don't they? A balloon can cheer up anyone's day. Mm. Balloon boy, on the other hand, can completely ruin your day. He's an animatronic that first appears in FNAF 2 and is in the same style as the an as the toy animatronics. In the pe in the pizzeria, his role is to give out balloons to the customers. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Balloon Boy won't actually hurt you. However, on night 2, he will start moving around. You can't see you can't see him on any of the cameras. He moves through the left air vent and comes to the office. Once there, he'll laugh endlessly and disable the lights, which he needs to keep Foxy away, making the game more difficult. You can't get rid of him once he's there, so deflect him by putting on the Freddy mask. When he's still up at, when he's still in the air vent. Balloon signs. If it comes on a stick, Balloon Boy will hold it. Up, up and away. Double clicking on Balloon Boy's poster. On the Balloon Boy poster in Camp 08 in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 will unlock the BB's Air Adventure minigame. Which is where you must collect all the balloons on the map. Look out for signs of danger and signs of balloons. JJ, didn't didn't see her? She saw you. JJ is a lot like Balloon Boy, but she's a girl. In fact, she's often referred to as Balloon Girl by players. She has a different colour scheme from Balloon Boy, with the blue and purple replacing the red. But that's if you get to see her at all, because she's a hidden animatronic, head desk. JJ's first appearance was an easter egg in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. In the game, she can sometimes be seen hiding under the under the desk in the office. She does not attack you or jump scare you, just stares at you. She does have a bigger role in, Five Nights, in Ultimate Custom Night, however. Phantom BB Never turn a never turn never burn a balloon. Another of the burnt hallucinations featured in Five Nights at Freddy's Three, Phantom Balloon Boy has lost his balloon balloons. Not surprising if they got caught on fire. Most creepily of all, he's missing his eyes. Only lights behind them remain. Blackout boy.
Phantom Phantom Balloon Boy also appears in Ultima Custom Night. There he randomly pops up on the monitor and you must quickly close it to avoid a jump scare and temporary blackout. It's simu it's similarly he sim sim similarly similarly he's on the in he's on the FNAF three levels of Help Wanted, where he jump scares where where his jump scare causes a ventilation error. Shadow Balloon Boy, why are you crying, son? Lost your balloon. Shadow Balloon Boy appears in the BB's Air Adventure minigame in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. If you skip the exit door, that appears that appears after collecting the first seven balloons and leave the game area in search of the eighth balloon, you'll fall into another room. The Sunken Place. This is where the Shadow Balloon Boys live. Black silhouettes of BB with a stream of grey tears falling from their eyes. You don't have to avoid them. You can just walk straight past them on your way to the hidden game area where the eighth balloon is. Nightmare BB. Don't blow him up. Be don't blow him up to be scarier than he really is. Nightmare Balloon Boy is another of the distorted, distorted sharp tooth animatronic terrorizing the crying child in F in FNAF 4. He has really disgusting hands, which is emphasized by the fact he doesn't hold any balloons, or even a sign saying balloons. So his hands just hangs, just hang there, horribly, floating away. Nightmare BB was introduced in the Halloween update and is featured in the mini game Fun with Balloon Boy. The object of this mini game is to use the flashlight to stop Balloon Boy as he walks over an X on the floor. By doing this, you earn a head st you earn a head start on the next level. Please don't sing. <laughs> Dee Dee is another female variant of Balloon Boy. She has no balloons but does have a really enormous propeller on her hat. Does she? Oh yeah. You'd believe she could take off with that thing. She first appeared in an, as an NPC in FNAF, FNAF World, an online RPG version of Five Nights at Freddy's that has since been taken offline. Summoner's Song. Dee Dee also appears in Ultimate Custom Night as a secret character when she enters the office. She si sings a song after which she sometimes randomly increases an animatronic's difficulty. She sometimes summons a customizable character inclu including six characters not on the main menu or sometimes she doesn't do anything except sing which is bad enough. XOR Shadow DD making the impossible even more possible. Often known as Shadow DD, this is a dark and ghostly version of DD. She replaces the usual DD in 5020 mode of Ultima Customite where she can't be repelled. After she vanishes, all six of her extra animatronics appear in a fixed order. Messing with the math. It's called 5020 mode. <sighs> okay, right. That's two times I've had to um, stop my thing. Right, anyways. Uh, where was I at? Oh, uh, wait. I think I finished that. And now I've got to do this one. Messing with the math. It's called a 50... It's called 5020 mode because... All, all an 50 annual trimmings are set to 20, but in fact, X, XOR always appears and summons 6 extra animatronics, so, so there are actually 56 animatronics to face. This mode is generally, generally considered nearly impossible, but you can try to beat it. 
you can try to beat your best time and other people's too. Is that focus? There we go. Amazing, but I just cannot be bothered to do any more for Nafayard. There's so many in here. It's crazy. And kind of annoying. Like, what do they have to do with the FNAF storyline? But, uh, FNAF Encyclopedia and on, like, what, part six this is? Alright, Swamp Balloon Boy. There's mud in your eyes. This was the first skin released for Balloon Boy back in November 2020 as part of the Forest Animatronics set re released for the animatronic uh, for the haunted forest event. He's made of mud and his balloons are also made of mud. Like Boulder Toy Bunny, he has no eyes until a delivery encounter until a delivery encounter happens. Prope proper propeller Proper propeller, proper propeller, proper propeller, proper propeller, proper propeller. Anyways, the propeller on his hat looks like it's come off a boat. Perhaps one, one that got stuck in the swamp, and his heart and his sign does still read balloons. So that's nice at the very least. His legs are so small. <sighs> Alright. Frostbite Balloon Boy. Ice. Uh. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Right, unlike a lot of the special delivery skins, which keeps the shape of a character but changes colours, textures and details, Frostbite Balloon Boy, added in December 2020 for the Winter Wonderland event, goes all out. This is a substantial model remodelling of the character, with at the very least, with, at the, with a very different, less rounded body shape. Snowed under. This balloon boy's balloon is actually a mace. The the icicles sticking out of it act as spikes, and the sign reads avalanche, which is not quite as tempting as balloons. <laughs> Still got so much more, and. I've got to get this video edited together because I had distractions. So we've got to edit it together, which means it can't be like 50 minutes to an hour. Like ones like the cheaper and stuff. Jetpack Balloon Boy, he will rocket you. Released for the steampunk event in July 2021, this cool steampunk themed Balloon Boy skin seems sees him seem sees him progress progress beyond mere balloons he does still have a balloon and it's made of metal and and has steampunky gears fly guy as you may as you may expect from his name Jetpack Balloon Boy wears a jetpack. It's powered by twin gas canisters, which he can use to fly a few feet into the air. His sign now says, let's fly. Can we not? It's just, we don't especially like heights. Lucky Boy. This is from um, Sergio's Lucky Day. Lucky boy, it, it's his lucky day, but is it yours? Should think I guess. It's your lucky day, there we go. 
Alright. Lucky boy appears in the story Sergio's Lucky Day. He's he's a small doll, ver doll version of Balloon Boy with similar clothes, but his sign reads "It's your lucky day." The main character of the of the story, Sergio, finds Lucky Boy in a dumpster and decides to test out his luck by buying a lottery ticket. Locking out, Sergio wins six hundred thousand dollars on the lottery and goes about changing his life buying a new car looking for a new home finding a new girlfriend and changing his job eventually he be becomes completely dependent on lucky boy and believes everything he says which is a dangerous position to be in because he literally like cuts off his face or something like that doesn't he like cuts off his face go to like a reunion or something like that. that that would be horrifying to see endo one Make sure it doesn't end. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't. Oh, every single time I hear somebody say endo, I'm gonna say, Make sure it doesn't endo your life. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. oh. Right. An endoskeleton is the framework that goes inside an animatronic holding up the suit and allowing them to move around. There's one of these inside every animatronic in, the, in, the, in the FNAF world. The first sighting of one was back in the very first game as a background detail in the backstage area. Endo 01 reappears in Help Wanted in much the same way it, it appears in the original game but with special delivery it gets more involved in this game it appears as an antagonist but it can't speak and it doesn't have any notable personality either my endo my endo's got no nose how does it smell my endo's got no nose how does it smell it doesn't Remake remodel. You must track Endo One by by the sound of its footsteps and dodge when it goes haywire. Then shock it to defeat it. If you push, if you manage to collect it, then you can push. You can put a push suit on it. Collected when you manage to fend off the other animatronics, and make it into a new brand of of anima, of brand new animatronic. The pizzeria is running with a skeleton staff. What's next? After Endo 2. Um, okay, that one. Right, let's finish. this into chunks so like um puppet and balloon boy uh then endo right that's what's gonna happen so this is gonna be a separate video endo 2 made of tougher stuff the more advanced animatronics seen in fnaf 2 needed a more advanced endoskeleton and that's where endo 2 comes in it looks sturdier than the spine than the spindly endo one with ribs and um, and metal discs to help fill out the plush suit. Plus, it's got articulate uh, uh, articulated joints. That's it. Right. Oh uh, dear. So that's what I was talking about. I was talking about the ribs. Yeah. Anyways, right. Unlike Endo 1 in the first game, Endo 2 takes a more active role in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It sometimes appears in the prize corner in Help Wanted and more rarely in the left air vent where it can block it can block other animatronics from entering. It doesn't attack or jump scare, so it so it's nothing much to worry about. <coughs> You 
must be cold standing there with no skin on. <laughs> Head games. In Help Wanted, Endo 2 takes a role in the FNAF 2 levels, but it operates differently in this this time, with the chance of it appearing in the in the office in the office. It oh, it head its heads can also be seen in the Curse of Dreadbear ads add-ons, build a mangle segment and part of it can be seen in the hideous blob in security reach. Don't get into a staring contest with this guy. Don't blink. Don't blink. Did you blink yet? Have you blinked? Blink. Oh, you, you're blinking. You're blinking. You blinked. Alright, oh, nightmare in the room. Will the nightmare, will the nightmare ever end though? <laughs> Alright, anyways. Yeah. Nightmare Endo's name suggests a connection with Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare from FNAF 4. Indeed, its ears are very similar though it doesn't have it doesn't have the outer set of teeth. It's chunkier and more detailed than Endo 1 or Endo 2, and would be able to support them the more grotesque limbs of the nightmare animatronics. However, Nightmare Endo doesn't actually appear in FNAF 4. Instead, it turns up in the vent repair section of Help Wanted in the in the Ened level, which takes place at Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. Even then, it's only briefly. You have to look under the grill in the spot where you're standing, but it will disappear when the flashlight shines on it. Blink and you'll miss him. Wait, I didn't see it. If you, oh my god, if you didn't get a decent decent look at Nightmare Endo, unlock the gallery by completing Pizza Party, the blacklight level. A button will appear that takes you to a page where all the all the characters in the game, including Nightmare Endo, can be viewed and made to appear on the stage. Give him a big hand. Oh wait, he's already got to. <laughs> right. Ended. A bit of this, a bit of that. What happened to him? That just looks. Just look, look at his little smile. And then he's got no eyebrow for some reason. Why doesn't he have eyebrow? What? He has an eyebrow in that one. But not in this. Oh, what? Right. A bit this, a bit that. Ended. And it is a mess. Wow. Wow, thanks thanks for letting the Ennard's self esteem go low. It's okay, Ennard. It's okay. And it is a mess. It's made from part of the animatronics at Circus Babies, Entertainment and Rental. You can see eyes belonging to Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Ballora, Circus Baby and Bon Bon on there. It's controlled by Circus Baby and sometimes wears a mask that covers its mismatched eyes and its mouth, which disturbingly disturbingly looks like it's grinning. That one looks really cool, like it's like he's grinning. Enid is the final antagonist on antagonist of Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, appearing on night five. There are a number of mistakes that will lead you into being jump scared by Ennard. If you don't listen to Circus Baby, but if you reach the scooping room, Ennard slash Circus Baby slash Elizabeth will, rel will relieve its slash her plan. To take over your body, hide inside and to take 
to take over your body, hide inside and escape the underground facility and infiltrate human society. Keep it private. If you can reach the private room, you must stay safe from Ennard there in an old in an old school Five Nights at Freddy's level. Ennard subs, subsequent, subsequently appears in Ultimate Custom Night and as an antagonist in the vent repair in vent in the vent repair level or help wanted. Yep, that's him. While you're up there, you could clean away those cobwebs. Yendo, Yellow Endo, part of the skeleton crew. Yendo is a rarely encountered endoskeleton in sister location that sometimes appears on night three in place of Funtime Foxy. It looks a lot like Funtime Freddy, but its original but its origins have never been revealed. Walking through walls. Yendo also appears in the custom night segment of Sister Location, where it attacks in a similar way to Golden Freddy from earlier games. Its appearance has nothing to do with the doors being opened or closed. For instance, if you stare too long at Yendo, your oxygen levels will deplete rapidly. You can make it disappear by opening the mo monitor. So it is like, you know, Golden Freddy, Yellow Endo. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have that much left for this one. Flamethrower Endo. Careful where you point that thing. Flame, Flamethrower Endo was introduced into special delivery at, as a limited time skin for the sizzling summer event in 2020 its first variant of endo 01 to appear in the game it wears a wielding welding mask which covers its whole face except its big eyes a big improvement twisted fire starter <laughs> the most distinctive element of this of this skin is that it has a flamethrower instead of a right hand this is connected to fuel tanks on its back and shoots a constant jet of flame when in the workshop. Darkwater Endo. There's something fishy about this one. Darkwater Endo was released in May 2021 for Special Delivery's Wicked Tides event. It's quite different from the usual Endo 1, seeing as it fuses the endoskeleton with an anglerfish. That's that's the fish with huge eyes and a dangling light on its head. You know, from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Don't take the bait. Besides the eyes and light, Darkwater Endo has fins on its sides of, on the sides of its heads of its head and fawns on its shoulders and arms in nature the angler fish uses the light uses uses the light to lure in its prey but you're too smart to get taken in by that aren't you molten freddy can't stand the heat can't stand the heat. Molten Freddy is one of the main enemies in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. He is a damaged version of Ennard, but Funtime Freddy is controlling him. His voice sounds the same, complete with a with its distinctive itch, and his ears are just about identifiable. What do you reckon? Cashing in. Molten Freddy is also one of the game's four salvageable animatronics, so he can so he can held so he can earn you a five hundred pounds profit. It if it if brought back f for parts, or you can choose not to salvage him and just put him back where you found him. Right. Next time we do glitch trap and I guess we do glitch trap and 
the next time we do next time we do glitch trap and baby well spring trap and baby hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye